everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, those that are on on uh, the Zoom call as well, thank you for uh, coming today. Uh, we will we are standing for a moment of silence, followed by the pledge. Um, and I think it's important if we maybe reflect on how Maui's doing and, and what's going on and helping them and just giving them can't help them physically, but we can emotionally maybe send some warm thoughts to them for the work we have to do. A moment of silence followed by the pledge. Pledge allegiance. Pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I think I, uh, we probably officially opened the meeting at like 9.32. Okay, I'd like to recess our public meeting at this point and um, open our public hearing for the 2023 Emergency Solutions Grant application. Jen Strach, our grants manager, is here to talk with us. Okay. Um, the Monroe County Commissioners will be applying for the FY23 Emergency Solutions Grant, which is a competitive grant funding opportunity offered by the Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development. The Emergency Solutions Grant is a federal grant providing funding assistance with the rapid rehousing of homeless persons, street outreach, homeless prevention, and emergency shelter activities. The program is authorized by the McKinney-Vento Homeless Assistance Act as amended by the Homeless Emergency Assistance and Rapid Transition to Housing, which is the HARP Act of 2009. Monroe County will be applying for $682,557 from DCD with a dollar for dollar match required from subrecipients for a total of $1,365,114. Subrecipients include Family Promise of the Poconos, RHD Street to Feet, Stroudsburg Wesleyan Church, and Women's Resources of Monroe County. They have all applied through a request for proposal process um, and are going to be included in our county ESG application. Family Promise of the Poconos, who is serving both Monroe and Pike County, are applying for $165,000 for emergency shelter, $212,550 for rapid rehousing, $150,000 for the Homeless Prevention Program. RHD Street to Feet is requesting um, $32,500 for street outreach, $42,836 for emergency shelter, which is the day center along with the coordinated entry site. Strasburg Wesleyan Church, which is our cold weather shelter from um, November through March, is requesting $40,000 for emergency shelter. Women's Resources of Monroe County is requesting $15,000 for emergency shelter. The FY 2023 ESG application will be proposing to serve 40 households, which will be served through street outreach funds totaling $65,000 for case management services and essential services, 417 households to be served through emergency shelter, funds totaling $525,672 for operations and essential services. 50 households will be served through rapid rehousing, funds totaling $425,100 for financial assistance, case management, and rental assistance. 29 households served through homeless prevention, funds totaling $300,000 for financial assistance, case management services, and rental assistance. And our application is due um, Friday, August 18th. Ooh. So that's the total ask is the million, $1,300,000. It's, it's balances. 
Yep, it's a dollar for dollar match okay. grant. So our total ask to BCD is the 682,557. And the other, what adds up to the million is the dollar for dollar match, which is provided by our subrecipient. So, so they have to apply for the, the match money or they have to, they have to have the match money. Correct. Correct, for their total. And right. they can match that with um, federal grants that they have. Other received, grants? Or? Other grants, right. private donations, right. other foundation funding sources. Yep. So when the Wesleyan Church, church asks for $40,000, they have to have $20,000. No, they have to have, have 40000 40, It's a dollar for dollar. dollar. Okay. dollar for Yes, and I can. Our highest average um, ESG grant to date was four hundred and nine thousand dollars. So we, when or if we are funded through this competitive grant process, it will more than likely be less right. than what we are requesting, and no more than sixty percent of those dollars will be allocated to emergency shelter um, and street outreach combined. Thanks. And do you have any feel for the number of homeless now versus a year ago versus two years ago with the expiration of uh, the ERAP money to help people stay in their homes, those who rented? Is there an increase in the number of homeless either as a result of that or as a result of other factors? Uh, yes, we, we have seen an increase in um, those seeking and needing emergency shelter. Um, we did not see that reflected in our pit count, um, which is done annually. We actually less unsheltered homeless, but that is because we had all of those COVID and ARPA funding um, and dollars to keep people in their homes. So, um, Explain so the pit, pit count. I mean, I know what it means, but. Oh. Sorry, it's the point in time count. It is a date that is set by HUD. Um, it's typically um, the last week in January when they do the pit count. And what we saw was a, it's like 65% increase in those who are actually sheltered, um, meaning that they count all the individuals in all the shelters, including our transitional shelters. Um, and so we had a huge increase in the number of sheltered, which decreased the number of literal homeless on the street. So I do expect um, Strasburg Wesleyan was averaging 40 individuals in their cold weather shelter between um, November and March. Um, it, it was an increase, but they had also increased their shelter capacity over the past year through the Emergency Solutions Grant and some other um, funding sources that we had for renovations. And renovations is something that's not being funded this time around. So that point in time, I've been out on a number of cold January nights doing uh, the pit count. Mm -hmm. And the, the fact that the Wesleyan Church has stepped up and increased their winter shelter is... A big help. Yes, yes. So ultimately, I see our homeless population continuing to increase, and it will probably be reflected this year because there is less funding available for emergency shelter. Any other questions? Before we close the meeting, um, everyone that's here needs to sign in. Have you all signed in? Marlo, it's right behind. Oh, you're welcome. Anything else? We'll close the meeting then at 9.41. Um, thank you. You don't need any, Jen, you don't need any motions or anything to like, just to accept a report or your application. Or anything. Nope, just if anybody has any questions, then um, they can contact me at the Fiscal Affairs Office. My number is 517-3129. Okay. Thank you. Uh, at this time, we'd like to uh, do your motion to open the meeting at 943 for corrections to the duplicate. The new tribal's here with us.
no addition and subtractions of 1921860 The majority of them were veterans exemption, except for one that was the the raising of the Bartonsville Holiday Inn. They tore down the Holiday Inn. Mm -hmm. Move we accept the corrections to the duplicate. Second. Second. Any, any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, thank you. Your motion to close, we'll close our corrections duplicate at 9.43. And welcome. Go ahead. Welcome. Channel 13 is just going to get set up. Okay. Um, now we'll close our corrections duplicate and reopen our Monroe County Board of Commissioners meeting at 944. Jeez. Uh, I was told I had to do that. So, um, and uh, public comment agenda items only. Okay, hearing them, seeing them. We'll move on. Should we wait a minute? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, please. Should I wait a minute? The letter set up. No. She's quick. She's quick. Yeah. Yeah. I will tell you that. They hold the six o'clock news waiting for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Okay. Okay, so. We will start our meeting with our old business. So I hear a motion to approve the minutes of the eight to public comments. I did that section. I don't. I did ask that. Yes. So there's no public comment at this point. So old business. Motion to approve the eight to twenty three meeting minutes. Second. First and second discussion. Any other all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. We do not have any proclamations or certificates today. So we move on to our new business. Personnel. Do I hear a motion to approve the actions listed in number one? Personnel, items A and B. So moved. Second. First and second. Any discussion or questions? Okay, hearing none, seeing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, moving on to. Item number two, electronic financial transactions ratified. Do I hear a motion to approve the actions listed in number two, items A, B, and C? So moved. Second. First, is any discussion, questions? Hearing none, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Moving on to number three, travels attached. So it's a travel authorizations approved and ratified. Uh, do I hear a motion to approve the actions listed in number three, item A? So moved. Second. First to second. Any discussion? Hearing and seeing all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Number four, area on aging. Do I hear a motion to approve the actions listed in number four, item A? So moved. Second. First and second. Any discussion? Hearing none, seeing all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Number five. Do I hear a motion to approve number five, Monroe County Children and Youth Services, items A, B, C, and D? So moved. Second. Do the first and second. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Moving on to number six, Commissioner's Office. Your motion to approve the actions listed in number six, items A through I. So moved. Second. Okay, we have first and second. Any discussion? Yeah, the two sizable budget adjustments at the top. Uh, the first one of $2,369,000. Uh, includes a budget adjustment of 2.2 million for the uh, roof at the correctional center, correctional facility, 
that uh, is not being paid out of the general fund that transfer is 2.2 million. And the, of the 2.413 million in the second budget adjustment, 2.4 of it is uh, another tranche of ERAP money that we've received just recently. Uh, this money, you know, once the state hits certain requirements of expending its funds, will go for uh, workforce housing and uh, affordable housing rather than for the subsidy of people who are unable to pay rent. So it, it really moves it in a different direction than simply backfilling what people couldn't afford to pay during COVID and trying to move the ball forward in providing housing that the uh, people that are of working means will be able to afford. So. Yeah. And it may get more permanent. You said that, so it'll make it more permanent. Any other discussion? Yeah, you can also see that the election integrity grant program application for the amount of five hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars was submitted. Um, that is money that was allocated. Um, in other words, to run your elections, the state gives you an allowance, and we are eligible for that money back from the state every year. Is that not John? Correct. Yep. And we've used it to purchase. Uh, tabulating equipment uh, to increase the salaries of people who work at the polls. And extra help. Right. Yeah. Hiring extra people. And it's all slated at trying to make sure that we get the results in on a timely basis, which was part of the legislation. Anything else? Any discussion? Are you hearing that signal? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Going on to number seven, domestic relations. Let's see. Yep. Do I hear a motion to approve the actions listed in number seven? Item A. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, seeing all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Number eight. Capital outlay purchases. Do I hear a motion to approve the actions listed in number eight, items A and B? So moved. Second. First and second discussion. Hearing and seeing all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And number nine, computer capital purchases. Do I hear a motion to approve the actions listed in number nine, item A? So moved. Second. First and second. Any discussion? Hearing and seeing all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Uh, moving on to miscellaneous. Any miscellaneous this morning? I have none. I have none. No. Okay. Public comment. Yes, ma'am. Um, what is in the medical assistance certification program? That's run by Monterey County. Uh, I'm sorry. The Transit Authority? Good. Yeah, it, it's it's in support of the through the transit authority to get to get folks that need rides to to doctors appointments and spiritual therapy, all kinds of things. They set it up through the transit authority. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Thank you. So